Welcome! Today's videocast on MySQL Shell will show us how we can import a table from the Internet. This is a feature in MySQL Shell that maybe you are not aware of. So the first thing we're going to do is connect to the Shell. We are in SQL, we check schemas, and we're going to create a schema to import our table. As you can see, I'm connected using 33060, which means I am in using the X protocol. So I will create a table with all the fields that are available in the data I am downloading from the internet. I can specify a type, of course. So the first field is the date, the second is province, region. an age group the sex and finally the amount of case as an integer so this is done so we can check the table that we just created Nothing special here. So now to be able to use the util with the import collection method, we need to use the classic protocol. So here it won't work with the X protocol, so we will connect on port 3306. And as you can see, I'm on 3306 right now. So I will use the new schema we created. I will go in JavaScript, you can do that in Python mode too, and I will call the util object with the import table method. And import, metal, uh, import table allows us to do that in parallel in 8 threads by default, but you can have more. Import table allows you to do importing uh, table from the internet, but also from files. Check the help, it has a, a lot of uh, feature there. And in the help, you can see also all the attributes of the options that I am specifying here. So which table I want uh, the data imported to, how are the fields terminated, and so on. The first row has the header of the table of the columns, so I don't want that, and I will skip it. All these options are specified in the help. So you do backslash H, util, import table, and you have all the help. So done, it goes to the internet, download it, in several threads and then we can do some SQL statements on the table and you see we have 8,000 more than 8,000 records loaded from the internet that's all just very easy stuff that I wanted to show you today so uh, thank you for using the MySQL shell See you next time. Bye-bye.